The other day I was moving some things around under my covered porch on my shed and I noticed a flexible solar panel that I reviewed almost five years ago. I used this 100 watt panel that you see here on top for my solar powered go-kart project briefly, but after that I put it in storage and forgot about it. So I pulled it out and was surprised to see that it was in rough shape. I laid out this 50 watt solar panel that you see here on the bottom as a comparison. It was stored inside my shed where it got no sunlight for over four years, but it was subject to some dust and some dirt and other conditions. The one on top only got indirect sunlight and a little more exposure to dust and wind, but no rain. Both of these panels are made by Lensun, which is an inexpensive Chinese brand. Lensun claims to use a layer of ETFE film on the outside of the panel to protect it against the elements. But as you can see, this film is peeling off and did not last long even in mostly sheltered conditions. Now this isn't a slam on Lensun, just a word of warning. And there may be some brands out there that have a better film that will last longer, and it may be that Lensun only used PET film instead of ETFE. But either way, you're never going to get a flexible solar panel to last 25 years like a metal fixed frame panel. So I know a lot of RVers and outdoor enthusiasts out there are very interested in flexible panels for their portability and flexibility. So I would tell you that if you use them sparingly and store them indoors, or you simply keep them for emergencies, they might be a decent option. But I'd recommend against permanently mounting these on your RV, van, boat, or any other outdoor application. Not only are they triple the price of an aluminum framed panel, but they just aren't built for long-term durability. Thanks for watching this video. I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing if you're new to my channel.